Are your machine shop videos lacking quality due to camera stability issues? Do you have a 30-year-old tripod that is so loose and wobbly that it wants to walk out of the shop by itself? Is your camera mounting equipment on its last legs and patched up with insulation tape? If yes, then we have a deal for you. Introducing the Machine Shop Camera Flexi Mount. This device has been made with strong steel and features three patent pending 1 quarter 20 mounting screws to allow your camera to be mounted in any orientation. The Machine Shop Camera Flexi Mount can be mounted anywhere to capture that shot that you have always dreamed of getting. Even the professional machinists use the Machine Shop Camera Flexi Mount in their workshops. How much does it cost, you ask? Well, for a limited time only, you will receive the Machine Shop Camera Flexi Mount for 26 easy payments of $9.95. But that's not all. If you call right now you will not receive one, but you will receive two Machine Shop Camera Flexi Mounts. Don't delay, call now on 555-0100 with your order. Okay, that's enough, settle down. Seriously now, I've had a issue in the workshop for some time now. You've probably seen a few of my um, last videos, uh, particularly when I'm doing work on the mill and the video is shaking all over the place. And that's because of that thing there, that tripod. So that's what I've been using for all of my videos till now. You can see those uh, latches um, at the top there on each leg they've got tape around them because they've made a plastic and the plastic's broken so they don't actually move anymore but I find that when I have the head of the tripod right up high uh, how I like to film on the mill I'm getting some sort of cosmic anti-harmonic vibration that travels up the legs to the top where the camera is mounted and although the tripod has, you know, rubber dampening feet and I've tried to put other soft materials under those feet, uh, that doesn't help at all. So that sort of results in, you know, the very poor video footage that I've been uh, getting on the mill lately. And in my last video about the dividing head, um, I put a couple of comments in there that I was going to throw this tripod in the bin after that video and work on some better camera mounting or holding you know apparatus and i know what you're thinking man you're holding that camera really still let me take a shot from the other camera and i'll show you what i'm doing so if you haven't guessed from now uh yes i do use iphones for recording uh, the one you see in the picture there the black one that's an iphone 6 man when did they come out back in I don't know, 2014 or 13 or something. It's a very old phone, uh, but still has a decent camera on it. Um, the one that's on the tripod that's recording now is an iPhone 8, and that was given to me from a friend. That has a great camera on it, so that's, that's what I've been using for all my videos up until now. But as you can see, I've put my other phone in this camera holding kind of bracket thing that I made. Now I've only made this uh, recently but the bit with the double arms that you can see that's off a, a lamp you know one of those desk lamps that you can you know move and adjust and then the top part up here was all uh, made up and it goes through this piece of wood here and there's a nut at the top that locks it all together and that's a lock nut and it's kind of firm so I can actually move this bracket in a circle so I can bring it over to here or way down to the other side um, and that allows me to move the whole camera in a big kind of semicircle around the lathe here and you might have noticed um, my last video with the dividing head that the last say third or quarter of that video I got some nice uh, close-up shots um, down in the lathe there and uh, some different positions and that's because I got more control and flexibility with um, this arm now. So that's the type of thing I want to make for the mill as well. Now I went and bought this lamp and you know it costs $30. It's kind of cheap you know skinny metal it's not that strong. 
it may last a while, I'm not sure, but I was just going to make the complete mechanism from 10mm or 3.8 a square bar. I've also put a, an adjuster here so this bar can actually uh, slide down. You know, I've got another, say, 3 inches at the top there where it can come down lower. Um, or I can push it right up higher. So there's a flexibility there. It also swivels around on that point. Swivels around on that point. These arms can extend out. There's a ball socket in the end here. So I can get virtually any angle that I need now um, around the lathe here, which is really, really good. And prior to that, I used to sit the tripod in the back of the lathe here. So one leg here, one in there, and one at the back here. And that's how I'd get my shots down there. But you know, fully uh, retracted, it was quite high and I had to get the, uh, you know, wooden crate out to stand on it so I could make sure that everything was lined up and, and focused and everything. So, yeah, the adjustable arm is absolutely fantastic and I've, you know, haven't used it very much, but really, really uh, good upgrade there. So I've taken off the apparatus that I had on the lathe there and it looks like it's pretty much the right size for the mill as well. So at the moment at the top you can see there's a, a yellow C or G clamp holding up a piece of wood and the apparatus is bolted into that piece of wood. So that piece of wood will be replaced with a piece of metal that'll be screwed to that truss or the bottom of that truss and I'll also put a angle bracket on the left hand side there uh, an angle bracket pointing back up to the truss as well so that'll make it nice and strong without it being sort of flexible and moving around. But this basically um, you can loosen this off and it will just swing around there and be able to take the videos from that side of the mill as well. And then you can lock it up so this can actually come down further or you can slide it up so depending where you really want to um, you know set up your camera so as I mentioned this actually works not too bad on the mill so I just wanted to make uh, this part here a little bit longer probably another hundred mil you know four inches longer here the height and everything is all good so it'll just be this bar will just be a little bit longer coming on a steeper angle there. Um, and the other thing I wanted to change is this locking nut here is okay for sliding uh, this bar up and down. Um, but sometimes I just want it locked in a one position. But I still want to rotate uh, this piece here. So what I might do on the one for the mill is put another mechanism over here where, where I can actually rotate it and this just stays in a you know in a fixed position wherever you want it and then we just have some other thing over here where we can rotate it and you know some sort of friction fit thing where I don't actually have to unscrew anything or anything like that I can just rotate it similar, similar to how you know, this piece works up in the up in the beam and or in the plate that it's going to go into just a tight fit and then you know you can just move it around but it's not so loose that you know it's, you're going to get vibration and it's going to bounce around all over the place so given that I actually have this piece here um, I'm going to start on uh, this piece and the other piece that will be up in the that rafter there because once I've made this piece and the other piece that bolts to the rafter then you know I can actually use this piece in the new fixture over on the mill. Tell you what, it's a lot easier making a second one than it was sort of working out what to do with the first one. So these are all the pieces. 
I've sort of beefed it up a bit. This piece is the same. It's 30mm by 5mm uh, flat bar. It's just uh, longer than that one, so I went, it was another 6 inches or 150 millimeters. Um, so that should hopefully give me plenty of room there. Um, this is a 10 mil or 3 8 bar. Uh, this one here is going to be 12, uh, and I think this is an 8 mil, and this one's going to be a 10 mil here. So just sort of beefed up this area here a little bit. So the next thing I want to make is um, this round piece here. This is kind of the, I guess, the bearing surface or area where it rotates round. And uh, for this one here, it's, you know, there's a bit of um, a two by two piece of wood, two inch by two inch piece of wood. Um, and it, we just tighten the nut up and it sort of it just has friction there. But for this one, we're going to be using a metal bracket that we're going to bolt it to. So I want to make this piece a lot bigger so it sort of reduces the, you know, the, the flexing. Um, I mean, the camera isn't very heavy. It's just a phone for crying out loud. But, you know, I just don't want it uh, flexing here um, at the end, particularly because we're a bit longer on this one here. So I'm going to make um, a bigger washer here. In diameter and then we will be pretty much finished this piece once I've welded it all together. I've got the first bracket made up here, so as you can see it's um, a bit longer on this area than um, the original bracket. And I've got the uh, larger round bits here, uh, you know, to stop it having this kind of movement. So the thread is a little bit long there, it'll need to be chopped off. Uh, this one goes through a, a bit of a 2 by 2 inch piece of wood. This one's just going to go through a bit of um, 5 millimeter steel. So. I'll trim that off uh, once we get it all fitted up and where we need to mark out where to trim it. So the next step is to actually make the plate that um, this goes through here. 
and uh, it'll come across and then attach to the beam or the truss and of course on the end of the plate that sticks out this side I'll be putting a angle bracket up um, up higher up on the truss here and that triangle should uh, keep that nice and solid so let's get started on that So there it is, uh, the bracket is all finished and as you can see there um, I don't get any vibration on the image here on this camera now so um, that's worked out absolutely brilliant. Basically the uh, top of the spindle there is in line with where this comes down so um, you know when the camera's on the left side of the mill it's a certain distance and on the right side it's the same distance so plenty of flexibility to move it around with the um, with the arm here as well so I'm pretty happy with that uh, I was gonna make up another arm um, for the mill and I will do that but uh, I, th I think this video's sort of gone on a little bit longer now and this is probably gonna be a video in itself so I'll do that maybe another day unless I come across another you know lamp that has one of these types of arms on it, a reasonable price, then I'd probably just modify that to, to work like I did with this one.